Some local lobby groups have mobilized to object to the proposed Energy East pipeline. The pipeline would transport 1. million barrels of oil through six provinces from western to eastern Canada. Thank you for coming today to hear about a project that holds serious risks for all Manitobans in numerous ways, but has not yet received the attention that it deserves, the Energy East Pipeline. Today we are here to talk about its contribution to the greatest risk the human race has ever encountered, climate change. The groups have drafted a letter to the National Energy Board urging it to include full environmental impact reviews before okaying the pipeline. This letter addressed to the chair of the National Energy Board. This letter that requests that the review of the Energy East project include not only the impact of the pipeline itself, but also the impacts of producing, refining, and burning the oil that would flow through it. The impact of the pro project slice across this country has extremely high potential to forcibly impose devastating and irreversible effects towards the environment, affecting interconnected e ecosystems re that rely on sustainability to clean land, air, water, animals and even human beings like us sought to protect that. All humans are at risk when our very survival is 100% dependent on the earth that provides us to live on. The greatest refining moment in any of our lifetimes will be addressing the effects we are having on the climate. The greatest threat we have to addressing climate catastrophe is burning fossil fuels. This federal government is willfully ignoring that our planet is in peril due to climate change. This government has been continually chided by the rest of the world as being a laggard when it comes to addressing carbon emissions and has offered no credible, credible plan to reduce them. It looks like this federal government is more interested in getting extreme energy products to market than in addressing the greatest threat to our world. The science is clear that developing new fossil fuel infrastructure, especially for an extreme energy source like the tar sands, will lead to runaway climate chaos. The reason we're here is much like Eric said, TransCanada today, this very day, has the Energy East application on its desk. It's been there since October 30th. They have the power uh, through the legislative authority that they have to change the list of issues. They've already done it by including marine traffic assessments when people in Quebec called out to protect the beluga whales there. So they have this power to decide what the list of issues are and we need to make sure that they are pushed, urged, and we demand that they change this. Um, the National Energy Board um, has decided this on a political basis um, that they don't want to view this because they know that if we fully assess this pipeline on its climatic effects by including the tar sands and the burning of oil downstream in our cars and in all those other things, they will know that it is too much greenhouse gas emissions. There is no other environmental assessment possible of the climate impacts of the tar sands and burning oil without the National Energy Board signing on unless individual provinces decide to end their equivalency agreements with the National Energy Board. Um, I think it's really incumbent upon Manitoba to consider th um, that climate change is a really important end of Next, the groups plan to lobby both the province and the city. Jim Bender, Winnipeg Sun.